Welcome to episode three of The Human Talk. If you're new to this channel, thank you. If you've just found us, maybe a friend's recommended you or um, maybe you stumbled across us, it's really good to have you here. If you've been watching since episode one, uh, well done. Yeah, good work. Um, it's, uh, that's some real devotion there for us and we really appreciate it, thank you. Um, right, what have we got this week? Um, this time we've got a bumper issue. We've got a really fun question and answer session from two awesome programmers based out in LA. We've got the first in our series of MA People where we've asked you to send in uh, your name, your location and uh, what you've been up to during this period of quarantine uh, or lockdown depending on where you are. And we've got a backstage tour of the mission control area, i.e. technical support, in Paderborn, Germany. So, let's get started. Um, Joe and Kat are programmers based in LA. Their CVs uh, run from JLo to the Chemical Brothers, from Metallica to New Kids on the Block. Um, we thought, um, as they've been you know, pushing the buttons on the console and asking the console to do things for them, we would get the console to ask them some questions. So uh, let's take a look. I'm Joe Cabrera. I'm Kat West and we own Flash and Trash Works. I got into the industry uh, just straight out of college, so that would have been 2001. Yeah, a uh, similar story for me it was while I was in college, so January of 2000. So we're programmers. Uh, we work mostly in the concert touring industry. Yeah, we do the odd TV show, corporate, yeah. something like that. Usually programming, lighting, sometimes video as well. A little bit of video, yeah. Uh, Kat and I, uh, as well as our company Flash and Trash Works, are all based in LA. Good question. <laughs> uh, I think the thing that I miss is the traveling. Yeah, along with the traveling goes finding really good places to eat that you would have never been before. Yes. Really cool bars. I love finding speakeasies in places I've never been. You are really good at that. I love yeah. it. <laughs> I would have to say, without hesitation, save early, save often. Oh <laughs> yeah, you cannot back up enough times. It's... Or to enough places. Yes. Yeah. Pizza, easy. Thought you might say that. Yeah. I love pizza. <laughs> so like, so like bus food? <laughs> yeah, see, I like the pizza as the after show food. Yeah, I mean, I know everybody gets on the bus and they're like, oh God, it's pizza again, but like, Internally, I'm like, pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? Come on. Pizza. <laughs> uh, honestly, and I'm maybe a little embarrassed to say that this, but uh, it's my phone at this point. Uh, yeah. I was one of the first people that I knew to get like a Palm Pilot. Uh, and I just knew the utility of it at that point. And it just helps me remember all of the things that I would forget. Uh, for me, I think probably the work that I did on the Metallica Arena show. The one, oh, the one with like all the with like, all the, the cubes. cubes? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, there's there's a lot of intricate ins and outs for getting data from the the motion control system to tell us where our lights actually are, so that as we want to keep you know a nice stage wash and the lights are moving, we can actually do that, and it's. It was a trick to get there, uh, and it was a treat to see it actually work. Yeah, it looked really cool. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I really like Halloween, and I wanted to learn how to program something that wasn't a lighting console. So I started playing around with the Arduino control board and making little props and costume accessories for my Halloween costume. So I've got one of those here. Yeah. Uh, this is from a couple years ago. This is my little proton pack. Joe's gonna hold it. Thank mm -hmm. you, sir. 
So uh, we've got obviously some sound and some pretty lights that will light up. And thank you. I take this. Um, this is fun darkiness as well. Um, yeah. So. All from scratch. This one right here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know the answer to that, so I actually asked them, uh, yeah. and I think I got about the best reply I could have expected. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's perfect, right? It it's on out. the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah that seems, that's about right. Uh, and then for me, I thought it would be uh, kind of fun to ask our 10-year-old nephew, Dylan, what he thinks we do for a living. So Dylan, what is it that you think Aunt Cat and Uncle Joe do when we're at work? I think that you guys help work the lights so that all the shows look like fancy and that all the songs get put together the correct way. That's a, I like it. That was a really good <laughs> answer, actually. I, I think from now on, we're really going to try to do that. <laughs> yeah, I think you understand it better than most of our friends do. So. Um, I think that you guys do a really cool job because you guys get to travel like all around the world. Yeah, that's true. We do. Sure do. It's fun. Yeah. All right. Good answer. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Joe and Kat. And can I just say what a very smart young dude uh, Dylan is there. Uh, well done. Well done. Uh, right. So now on to our series MA People. Uh, we've asked you to send us in your videos of where you are, what you're up to um, whilst we're in this period. And you have not disappointed us. Please, though, we want more and more. Um, let's see how far around the world we can go with this. So please, if you are out there and you are at a loose end, which uh, I think, you know, is probably all of us, um, pick up your phone, shoot a quick video, send it in to us, and um, you will see yourself in a series of MA people. And uh, so, without further ado, here's the first one. Everyone. My name is Jesse. I'm from Cincinnati. Um, I used to be a house lighting director at a local club here called Bogarts, but now since this whole coronavirus issue, none of us are in work, as a lot of people are. I'm taking advantage of the free MA courses that AACT is providing. I've already finished user course 101 and 102, and now I am on to cloning. So I'm just excited to have the free time to just learn and develop my skills into being a lighting designer. Yeah, hello guys. This is Mayor from Nairobi. I hope you're doing well. We in Nairobi, we are doing good, keeping the social distance, doing whatever the government is telling us to do. No, we have been having internet outages. Now we can't go to the e-learning because most of us in Nairobi, we don't have an AMA console. And I hope you guys are having it pretty well, wherever you are. So keep the faith alive, keep AMA running. Bye-bye, guys. Kwaheri. I'm Jarkko from Tiivistama, Helsinki, Finland. We have turned our venue to a TV studio to make live streams to all of you. Stay safe. Hello, MA Lighting community. My name is Daniel Kent. I am normally a lighting director at Brooklyn Steel, as well as other venues in and around New York City. I have made my time during social distancing productive by practicing piano, as well as completing all the MA2 and MA3 courses available through ACT Lighting. Thank you for making these available free of charge. My name's Noah. Um, I'm actually up here in Aspen, Colorado, in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. <clears throat> Probably the only LD in the middle of the Rockies right now. But as for the town, we're just social distancing. Everyone's staying home, trying to flatten the curve, as they say. And personally, I'm just trying to learn MA and just you know sharpen my lighting skills so that when the industry opens back up, I can hit the ground running with uh, some new skills and we can just rock it. Thanks, MA. Absolutely great there. Thank you so much to everyone that sent those in. And uh, yeah, do your bit and you'll see yourself there very soon. So now, off the backstage of uh, MA Mission Control in uh, Paderborn, uh, Rene, over to you. Hey Lee, hi everyone. 
Welcome to MA Lighting International here in Paderborn, Germany. I like to take you on a backstage tour around our tech support today. Right behind the door is the restricted area for all tech support members. So let's have a look inside. Here we are. This is Mission Control. If we are not in this pandemic situation, you would find quite a few of my support colleagues working in here. With the current restriction due to the coronavirus, we are almost alone in here. But you can see the systems are running even so no one's here. Well, at least one is here, Oli. So let's ask him what's going on. Could you give us a short update why you are the only one in here right now? We are all here, just not in person. So, every day one member of our support team is here while all other, other colleagues are working from home with standalone consoles and command wings and remote access to our test setup here if necessary. This way, we always have someone maintaining our test and support environment while any member of our support team is available to support you. The times are challenging, but for us it is very important to stay connected. We are here to help. Our availability is assured. What are you monitoring over there? I'm just checking the vital signs of our 24-7 test. We are not only checking support issues reported by users, but we use the full system for performance tests as well. This way, we can make sure we have a reliable and stable system. Due to the fact we are not able to operate the system locally 24 hours a day, we are using a professional network monitoring application, allowing us to lock certain events while not being present. So, can you give us a little overview of the equipment you are using in here? Okay, so here is the Grandma 3 testing and support area. We have all devices in the Grandma 3 family available, from on-PC solutions, the compact series of consoles, Grandma 3 extension, of course, the Mac application, CRV version of consoles, full-size and light versions, all equipped with external touch monitors. And of course, we have some more devices here, which are our network devices. And you can see here a bunch of processing units that are needed to allow us for certain uh, scalability and to extend the network processing power. And last not least, export nodes to output DMX. Of course, we also have a full Grandma 2 system, including the MPUs to run systems to its parameter limits for support and test purpose. We have all single consoles available, all different types, including our VPU solutions, MA network switches, and of course, on PC solutions. And this is our DOT2 corner. Of course, allowing us to check on PC solutions with our node and all different hardware versions of our consoles. Thanks a lot for the background tour of the MA Tech Support. Lee, anything you would like to ask about Tech Support? Ah, a question. Yes, I do, Remy. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I didn't see a Series 1 console there. I know that they are still out there being used. Um, do you have a Series 1? Of course we do, but let's be honest, it's not switched on every day anymore. Once in a while we sit down here to check users' requests. Even for us in the technical team, it is impossible to remember all the details of three generations of grandma systems. And not to forget, we support all other products MA has ever produced as well. So, if you have any questions, our support team will find the answer. This was our short backstage tour of the MA Tech Support International. I hope you liked it. And if you have any questions, just let us know. We are here for you. We support you directly via email, phone, or the official MA forum. We also run the 24-7 emergency support line from here. And not to forget, we back up all our distribution partners around the world. 
We know it is a tough time for the industry in the moment. And all of us hope you stay safe out there. We hope to hear from you soon again at one of your jobs out there. And now, back to Lee. Thank you, René and Oli. Um, really good to see you guys. And uh, it will be great to see that building uh, fill up again with people, all busy working away. Um, but it's also very reassuring to know that um, all the guys out there that need support um, still get the same level, even though you can't all be in the office at the same time. Uh, that's very encouraging. And uh, yeah, thank you uh, for letting us know that. So that's it. Episode three, done and dusted. Uh, again, thank you so much. We hope you like it. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, tell your friends. But most of all, please stay well, keep safe, and we'll see you very soon.